Life Audio. Thank you for listening to your daily prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer together. Let's see, if something costs less, but people are happier with it, that sounds like something to look into, and that's MediShare. Maybe you've heard switching to MediShare to pay for health care can save the typical family 500 bucks a month, and that's huge. But it's also true that people are way more satisfied after making the switch, too. The customer satisfaction rate for MediShare is double that of the typical health insurance plan. Double. MediShare works. It's been around for more than a quarter century, and members have shared more than $3 billion of each other's bills. People love having telehealth and a huge nationwide PPO network. So, yeah, you can save a ton and like it better. Imagine being happy with how you're taking care of your health care. So if you're self-employed or part of the gig economy or you just want a plan you're happy with, you can call right now and get a price within two minutes. A very, very smart use of two minutes. Here's the number you need. 888-SHARE-19. That's 888-SHARE-19. 888-SHARE-19. There is simply no other experience in the world like traveling to Israel. Seeing the Holy Land in person is a life-changing event you will never forget. Come see for yourself the holiest and most significant sites in biblical and world history. Judea and Samaria, Jerusalem, Nazareth, and Haifa are simply a few of the inspirational, breathtaking places you'll visit. Traveling to the Holy Land will be one of the most amazing trips of your life. Walking the same steps that Jesus did is an overwhelming and powerful experience you will never forget. It's time to go visit the birthplace of the Bible. To find out more about Israel, visit holyland.israel.travel. Israel, exactly like nowhere else. A Prayer for People Who've Messed Up Written and read by Lynette Kittle For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 Have you ever really messed up in your life? Not something unimportant or easy to correct, but in a way it can't easily be made right or fixed at all. Something that can't be erased, redone, or even forgotten. If so, it's a horrible and devastating feeling for most individuals. It's especially difficult for tender-hearted people who bear the weight of it and are unable to carry the guilt. Coping with mess-up fallout may cause some to feel like they can't go on living, unable to cope with daily life, with nothing making sense or mattering anymore. For those who don't understand, This strong reaction may seem too dramatic and over the top, but to those who have experienced devastating failures and sorrow, it may be greatly understated. Sadly, rather than offer comfort and compassion, some Christians often dole out plenty of scolding and condemnation to those who mess up, something usually too heavy for a cast-down soul to handle, along with their own tormenting emotions. For those who haven't experienced messing up big time in their own lives, it may be hard to relate to others who are going through it. But count it a blessing there is no first-hand accounts to relive, and while counting, also ask God to give you a compassionate heart towards those who are living through it. Rather than looking down at others who fail, we want to remember that every human has the shared experience of being born a sinner because all of us have sinned and fallen short when it comes to God's glory. Romans 3.23 Gratefully for those who know God, there is forgiveness, because if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 
1 John 1 9. As well, we don't have to stay and live in our mess ups. As the Apostle Paul wrote, Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3.13 Paul understood God doesn't want us to linger in regret or live in past failures, but to trust Him and move forward with Christ Jesus. People need to know that messing up big time in life doesn't have to ruin their lives. True, it may take them in new and unexpected directions, but God has a way of leading people into more fulfilling, satisfying lives when they trust Him for their future. Let's pray. Dear Father, we confess that we have messed up in life and aren't able to correct or change the consequences of our actions. We ask you to forgive us and to help us today to move forward with you. Cleanse us, Lord, and free us from the pain, sorrow, and regret. Help us, Lord, to not dwell on our past failings, but to look forward towards our future with you. Thank you for being close to us in our brokenness. Mend our shattered hearts, Father. We praise you for giving us beauty for ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and the garment of praise instead of the spirit of despair. Lead us from this point on in our lives and let our hearts be willing to follow you and submit to your ways and directives in life. Help us to be sincerely grateful to you for your forgiveness, love, compassion, mercy, kindness, and so much more that you graciously pour out on us during our deepest, darkest hours. Thank you that even if friends and family reject and turn away from us, you promise to never leave us, turn away from us, or forsake us. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Let's see, if something costs less, but people are happier with it, that sounds like something to look into, and that's MediShare. Maybe you've heard switching to MediShare to pay for health care can save the typical family 500 bucks a month, and that's huge. But it's also true that people are way more satisfied after making the switch, too. The customer satisfaction rate for MediShare is double that of the typical health insurance plan. Double. MediShare works. It's been around for more than a quarter century, and members have shared more than $3 billion of each other's bills. People love having telehealth and a huge nationwide PPO network. So, yeah, you can save a ton and like it better. Imagine being happy with how you're taking care of your health care. So if you're self-employed or part of the gig economy or you just want a plan you're happy with, you can call right now and get a price within two minutes. A very, very smart use of two minutes. Here's the number you need. 888-SHARE-19. That's 888-SHARE-19. 888-SHARE-19.